I'm Lloyd B. Smith, Member of Parliament, among other things. And a very good friend of Sir Howard. <laughs> and um, to my extreme left is our Honorable Costas, Ewan Corrodas, um, Costas of St. James. And um, you just heard from Evangelist Errol D. Rattray. And of course, um, we may well say beauty and the beasts, but um, I don't think that would be overly appropriate. <laughs> our, our very, very distinguished, the Honorable Lisa uh, Hanna, Minister of Youth and Culture, who is our guest speaker. And of course, our guest of honor, Sir Howard. Teacher, everybody knows teacher, teacher. Uh, the right, of course, is um, a granddaughter of Sir Howard, Dr. Tasha Cook, the only granddaughter. And she's quite beautiful, too. Um, and of course, the lady of the moment, Yvonne Cook. Master of Ceremonies, Honorable Lloyd B. Smith, MP, guest of honor, the most honorable Sir Howard Cook, retired Governor General of Jamaica, guest speaker, Honorable Lisa Hanna, MP, Minister of Youth and Culture, Honorable Sharon Folks Abraham, MP, and Minister of State for Industry and Commerce, Mrs. Yvonne Cook, author, Evangelist Errol Rattray, other distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good afternoon. It is indeed a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here this afternoon to share in this memorable occasion. It is my first duty to greet you on behalf of all the citizens of St. James. As such, I offer my coat of welcome to all present, especially to those from outside of this parish. Please remember that this parish is the hospitality capital of our country, and we delight to welcome both visitors and migrants from other parishes as well as from the rest of the world. I also offer a special word of greetings to Sir Howard. Your very presence here this evening is an inspiration to all of us. I congr congratulate you and express appreciation for the work you have done in our parish and in Jamaica as a whole. This afternoon's occasion is to me a great moment in history. We are here to launch not only a work of art, but a chronicle of the life of one who has lived the lyrics of the song by our own world famous Jimmy Cliff. You can get it if you really want. You can get it if you really want, but you must try, try, and try again. The very title of the book is immediately inspirational. God is good, from the cane fields to King's house. This tells me that there is no excuse for any of us to sit back and lament our circumstances because we may believe that we do not have the resources or the opportunities to advance in life. I know many people right here in this parish that have triumphed over circumstances and achieved success in the many areas of endeavor. Sir Howard is a shining example of this kind of achievement. It is a blessing to all of us and especially to the young people that this journey has been recorded in this book to serve as a source of motivation. Too often we meet young people who are discouraged and hopeless. Many of them think that it was easier to succeed in the days of their parents or grandparents. I would like to assure such young people that it is much easier now. There are so many more opportunities available to you because of the hard work and sacrifices of these same parents and grandparents and people like Sir Howard who have worked so hard to lay a foundation for you. I urge you to make use of these opportunities. All you need is a sense of purpose, dedication, and hard work. There is no limit to what you can achieve if you have these. I am sure you have seen many people being interviewed on television that rose above their circumstances 
and achieve great educational or financial success. There are some things they all have in common, vision, perseverance, hard work, and dedication. You do not have to, you do not have to set unrealistic goals. All you need to do is to be determined to improve your circumstances and be a service to humanity. I dare to believe that Sir Howard never started out with his eyes on King's House. It is his constant quest to be of service to his country and his dependence on God leading in his life that brought him thus far. I must also commend the author, Mrs. Yvonne Koch, for the tremendous job you have done in having this biography recorded, published, and made available to us all. I am pretty sure that you will soon be recording more amazing success stories to, to further inspire us. So young people and older ones, I urge you to get your copy of this book. Read it from cover to cover. Be inspired, share it with others, and emulate the life of service and dedication that Sir Howard has led. You'll be better off, your community will be better off, and your country will be better off. I endorse this book wholeheartedly, and I wish for us all an enjoyable and profitable afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. And gentlemen, again I want to welcome everyone here, and I see in the audience a number of persons who we would want to recognize. Um, Ambassador Frank Pringle, uh, a very good friend of Sir Howard. And I gathered, Frank, that at some stage of your life, Sir Howard was your boss. <laughs> uh, we welcome the gentlemen from the Indian community. Um, Kishin Santani, who has been one of the sponsors for this occasion, and uh, accompanied by two of my very good friends here. I also see in the audience um, Mark uh, Jarrett. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hi, Mark. And son. <laughs> um, Cassie Cook. You're what now? Cassie is with JPS. And of course, JPS is one of the sponsors. Um, other sponsors of the event are Jamaica Tours, Arawak Publications, Right Visions Limited, and of course, Andrew Dadlani. And one of the beautiful things about this book is that it was locally printed. So it's a complete Jamaican product. I am so happy to be part of this function because anything to do with Sir Howard Cook, I have to be involved in my own personal life.